Okay. Uh, good afternoon, morning. Uh, this is pre recorded. Uh, I'm Terry Wisdom, and this is Harlem Network News. And as you know, Harlem Network News is a new media platform. We started at the onset of COVID, and we are still here. Uh, we are sure that we bring all of the news and information to the community. And today uh, we have some uh, iconic figures uh, from our community, uh, and that is in the person of uh, Abdel, Baba Abdel Salam and Diane Salam. Uh, and I will let them just introduce uh, themselves. Uh, we know them from the incredible forces of nature that does the uh, Kwanzaa program, Regeneration Night, for years and years and years from dance class and now, uh, Baba Abdel, and I want to get the title right, uh, just introduce yourself and tell us about Dance Africa, your title, and how long you've been doing Dance Africa. Thank you. Um, you know, peace and blessings, family. Uh, I am Baba Abdel, and I'm the artistic director mm -hmm. of uh, Dance Africa. I've been its um, current artistic director for the past six years, um, and uh, was ch uh, chosen by the BAM staff and Baba Chuck to um, inherit the directorship and take it, you know, into its next level, to its next set of dimensions. I've been um, uh, connected to Dance Africa since its inception in 1977. I performed when I was a member of the Chuck Davis Dance Company in 1977. And so that is 45 years. Um, to, um, today mm -hmm. and this dance Africa is called Homegrown and it celebrates the contributions of African American and Afri African Caribbean people as they maintained uh, the music and the traditions of uh, both traditional uh, and contemporary of the African di uh, diaspora and the continent uh, itself. Okay well <laughs> uh, thank you uh, Baba Abdel and uh, Sister Lady Diane, do you want to share uh, your connection to Forces Dance Africa? Tell us a little bit about Torchbearers and some of what we can expect. Okay, um, I am Diane Harvey Salam. I am uh, Baba Ebdel's um, left arm, right arm, the back of his head, <laughs> bottom of his feet, uh, his fingertips. Um, <laughs> And, and most of all, you know, his, his um, sounding board. Um, I also am tasked and, and blessed with helping manage the spirit walkers who every year do a very different um, uh, memorial tribute. Um, it's, it's unique this year in that we're honoring the ancestors through the concept of honoring water. And um, as, as the earth heats up, it, the water becomes much more precious and valuable. And we all have come from water. And um, it's just gonna be amazing. The, the, the casting and the listing of the companies that are being featured this year is just a brilliant curatorial mix. <laughs> um, a lot have been uh, former members of Dance Africa over the years, former members of the Chuck Davis Dance Company, former members of those founding companies. So it's, it's so refreshing to see them moving forward in time and still reflecting. And then I call, I always call that their Sankofa consciousness. Um, so Whatever night you choose to come, and each night will be different. Whatever night you choose to come, you will be fortified and blessed to move forward in time while reflecting on the past. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yes, uh, Baba Abdel. Yeah, many of many of the um, of the artistic directors and musical directors of the companies that are performing were actually at, um, children of the elder companies and the founding companies of Dance Africa, as Diane just uh, said. Um, so whether that was um, Sabar International, which ultimately gave birth to Sabar Aku Afrique or the Chuck Davis Dance Company or Nana Dinazulu and his African drummers and dancers 
and his family, his young people um, um, grew up and they, are, they also toured with Forces of Nature and now they have their own company, which is the Saseya. Let me just go through that lineup very quickly. Um, okay, but, thank you, thank you for that. Sure. All as of Brian said, is, mm -hmm, it is an intergenerational experience uh, and it's one that um, uh, through it's Sankofa Ness, if that's a word, <laughs> you know, uh, that um, not only do they, do they look back in order to move forward, but um, they, are they are definitely an example of how the tradition um, is moving forward. Uh, the opening night, um, uh, we have Bambara, uh, who is from the Bronx, um, whose artistic director is Jewel Love. Her musical director is her son, you know, Ade Love, who played at Dance Africa when he was three years old. Okay. Jimbe was bigger than, bigger than he <laughs> was. And of course, the executive director and founder is Joe Barnes. Um, the second night is Harlem's uh, second, I'm sorry, performance on Saturday afternoon. Okay. It is uh, Harlem's own La Rock Bay, who is okay. celebrating their 60th year. And that artistic director is, is um, Brother Jerome Hunter. Um, and Jerome also played with with forces and 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 um, and Diane and I um, starting I think in what ni uh, 1993, you know 1993. Time. Time. So we have history and time. Uh, and that evening is a Sasaya um, okay. dance theater from Brooklyn, um, and that's founded by um, um, yeah. uh, Yao yeah. uh, Ababio, who's the artistic yes. director, and. Kofi yeah. Ose Williams, who is the executive, executive. director, mm -hmm. on Sunday afternoon is Farafina Khan, an amazing uh, mm -hmm. a company of musicians and dancers from Washington, D.C. Um, uh, their musical director was also uh, plays and is a member of, of the musical uh, entourage of Forces of Nature. <laughs> okay, forces all over. <laughs> uh, well, the, 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 my my musical directors have all grown up, and and uh, my musicians, <laughs> yeah. you know, have all grown up, and now they are artistic and musical directors of their own company. That that's what it's um, supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And and in Monday night, the final final night is um, Harambe, and Harambe is originally from North Carolina. Uh, by way of moving to the Bronx, by way of moving down to Atlanta. So they're bringing artists from Atlanta and the Bronx and they will be performing and closing the festival on Monday. And there is a father and son team and, and, a, and, a, and a, um, a mama team, which is Frank Sr. and Frankie Jr., Frank Malloy Sr., the third, and Frankie Malloy the fourth, and Sandella Malloy, who is the choreographer. Um, and Frankie was my associate musical director about eight or nine years ago. Uh, it forces. So it's an inter, inter, not just generational, but it's, it's, it's a place and a space where all of us have been working together. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, this is Restoration Youth Arts Ensemble, 25th year of performing, um, founded by um, uh, Pat Dye and Mama, Ka and Mama Karen Thornton. Mm -hmm. um, and this is their uh, 20th, 25th year at Dance Africa. Um, and um, they will be performing each and every night at, at, at the festival. So it's jam packed. Uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And and it is called Homegrown because okay. all of the artists that are performing are, are people uh, who were born here, who embraced the continent, who embraced the diaspora, and embra embraced the culture and the essence and the spirit. Of, of our African heritage and legacy, but have translated it through the voice and the vision of, of African-American people. Okay, well, it, it sounds great. Uh, this is Harlem Network News and we're honored to have you come on. You're some of our initial honorees now that it looks like COVID is not really breaking up, but people are going out more. We will be looking to having our actual physical honoree ceremony and we will keep you posted on that. Um, also, I, I want to, it looks like we need to attend more than uh, one night. Uh, will there be like crossovers? Like you said, one of the first nights will be La Rock Bay or the afternoon. So is it one uh, primary dance company per performance or is there, you know, interlacing of the companies? Um, it's a great, great question. Um, Thank you. Um, on the, uh, each night, one of the featured five companies will perform and close the first act in intermission. 
uh, each night, um, the spirit walkers, which is again, a fusion of forces of nature and restoration. Alone, okay. All right. will will open um, with an ancestral memorial work. Um, then we move to, again, the featured company of that night, one of the featured companies as an intermission. And then we have something um, kind of dedicated to the spirit of, of Sun Ra, we're calling it Orchestra Africa, okay. which is musicians of all five companies, and they will perform a huge um, uh, ensemble work of about 25 to 30 musicians. And then each of the companies that did not perform mm -hmm. um, on that um, uh, opening big number in the first half, they would do a short uh, five to seven minute piece. Um, kind of like an night, excerpt. Kind of like okay. an excerpt of okay. the big work uh, okay. uh, with musical interludes by um, Salio Suso, a chorus player, um, Famoro Diabate, a balafon player, uh, Kevin Nathaniel, an Imbira uh, player, and um, uh, and then some singers and, and artists from each of the companies. So each okay. each company will have an interlude that will introduce the short pieces, and there'll be one big finale uh, piece by Restoration. Okay. Um, so thank thank you so much uh, for coming on. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Um, I know that um, it takes a lot of prep to make this happen. So you all are already in, you know, mode. Um, well, this, is tech, this is tech week. <laughs> okay, absolutely, absolutely. So we appreciate it and uh, we appreciate the excellence. Uh, how can folks get tickets to Dance Africa? And is this the first time uh, since uh, COVID that it is actually live? And is it gonna be live stream as well? It, it is the first time that we're returning to, to live performances. I do not think it will be live streamed. No, it will not be live. Okay. No. Okay. We want the people I, to come out. Okay. Come okay. On out. Okay. So yeah. they can just uh, go straight to uh, Dance Africa. And I think they should be able to. I'm on the site right now. Um, I do see that the uh, Amsterdam News said there is literally no other dance celebration quite like it. That's a comment from the Amsterdam News. And I think you can go right to Dance Africa and uh, purchase your tickets. And if there are tickets available, uh, I say go to more than one. That's what I'm going to try to do. I will be there uh, with my grandson, who's turning 19, Messiah, on Wednesday. Good and I was time. literally, uh, this is my son that uh, transitioned. Uh, uh, when he was born, I was sitting in Dance Africa. And I got the call uh, from my son saying, as they were in California that he's born. So this year for the first time, uh, he's gonna come to Dance Africa and kind of see where we were when he was born. So very significant. What about the vendors just quickly? Um, what will be happening with that? And also I know there's usually like a dance party on Saturdays, just trying to give people a sense of the flow of Dance Africa, but you gotta go to the site and this is Harlem Network News. You got to come and experience it because we really can't express it. You got to, yeah. you know, be about it. <laughs> the, the marketplace is uh, uh, officially opens on Saturday, and that will be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, of course. So that's right through Memorial Day. I believe it closes around eight nine p.m. in the evening, and it opens okay. at ten o'clock in the morning. Um, there is a film Film Africa, a film festival that takes place at the Bam Rose Cinema, so they can go into the Bam Rose Cinema and watch a series of films um, uh, from the from Africa and the diaspora, um, which highlight the stories of who we are as a people. Um, there uh, is there are works, you know, hanging in the building by by featured visual artists. Um, there is a big, huge Dance Africa party. I believe it is on Saturday, Saturday, Saturday okay. evening. Mm -hmm. um, and the marketplace uh, continues, and of course, at twelve noon, ten o'clock. I thought it opened at twelve, but you know, but it's on okay. on the site. Yeah, yeah. folks can go to the site. I just wanted in this uh, uh, short, you know, for people to know that there is vending. So there's something for everybody, and it's intergenerational. Right. So uh, could you just, Baba, quickly uh, share a little bit about uh, Baba Chuck Davis and um, how long ago? BAM and Dance Africa started. And I know the baton was passed to you. 
Sure. Yeah, a- absolutely. Um, and uh, I think I m- mentioned it slightly, but let me just dig into it a little bit uh, more deeply. Uh, Baba Chuck came to uh, Harvey Lichtenstein, uh, who was the executive producer at BAM in 1977, initially to have the Chuck Davis Dance Company introduce African dance um, uh, to BAM, uh, which predominantly focused on you know European and American Europe, uh, European art forms. Um, and in that performance, that first performance, which many of us who were members of the Chuck Davis Dance Company um, uh, uh, performed at the La Perk space, it wasn't even in the opera house, um, completed it. And then Chuck said to Harvey, you know, let's make this the launch you know, of a Dance Africa festival. And rather than having it simply focus on the Chuck Davis Dance Company, I know many African-American companies and Afro- African-Caribbean companies uh, who specialize in work of, of Africa and its diaspora. Let's bring us together as a festival. And so that opening year, the next year, it was Arthur Hall uh, from Philadelphia. It was the Charles Moore Dan- uh, Dance Company. It was the International African-American um, um, uh, uh, Dance Theater. Um, okay. uh, it was uh, Nana Dinazulu and his, uh, uh, and his drummers um, and wow. dancers and of course the Chuck Davis Dance Company. So that was the birth of the festival. And one important thing to say about that year, 1977 was a seminal year. And I've been saying this in a a lot of my interviews lately. In 1977, many companies from the United States, whether they were theater companies, music companies, or dance companies, went uh, to the second annual festival um, at Festac. Okay, yes, Festac. Trust Company had just returned um, uh, from Festac. In that same year, of course, Chuck, inspired by that, went to Harvey and said, well, since we did it in Nigeria and Africa, let's see if we can bring some of that same spirit here back to the States in Brooklyn. That summer, Richard Pryor had gotten a contract with NBC and he did his four seminal specials, the only four that he ever did. And the second one that he did was one that focused on Africa and Africa being the origin of of cultures and civilizations for our planet. He invited the Chuck Davis Dance Company. So the Chuck Davis Dance Company performed on that Richard Pryor show. And then in that same year in the fall, which kind of brings it all together, if you weren't conscious about legacy or if you weren't conscious about about who you were in terms of the heritage, Roots premiered. Okay. You know, in the the thing. So we have these four cardinal things that were all came together in a perfect storm that year. And it was that we, that was the year, which was the launch. And Diane, Diane actually performed um, at, um, at Festac. At Festac. Yeah. I was performing with Elio Pomare at that point. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Such amazing history. Um, Thank you for sharing. Um, I'm not going to keep you because I want to make sure everything's perfect. And uh, for uh, Dance Africa, and I know that means that you all need to get there and do what you do. So um, each one of you, if you'd like to give some closing statements and blessings, uh, we are honored to have you. Culture is important. Uh, yesterday, we had a wonderful uh, program dedicated to um, prayers. And of course, uh, can't do anything without sharing prayers for the Buffalo uh, 13. Absolutely. And- uh, you know, just all that we're facing. Um, and we did do a dedication uh, show to our brother uh, Malcolm X El Haj Malik Shabazz, and we had author Peter Bailey on, and we also had uh, Malak uh, Shabazz, the youngest daughter. So that was very empowering. And uh, we're looking forward because, as she said, my mother's birthday, Dr. Betty Shabazz, is May 28th. We got to celebrate her. That's she right. kept it going, yeah. kept it moving. So uh, closing words, statements, something that you'd like uh, folks to take away with. And of course, you know, come to Dance Africa, support, experience, bring your young people so they can know. And it's all about Sankofa. So I think that um, as we move forward in our whatever our personal trajectories are, I'm gonna continue to to want to share the Sankofa consciousness that we remember the past in order to move forward in a healthy manner, remembering that our culture 
is our bloodline. Our culture is what ties us all together. The culture that we created in this country based upon everything that came before, but it really is how we link ourselves to each other. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lady Di and Abdel. Uh, sure, you know, we, we, we've come through some ex extraordinarily challenging times in the last two years. Um, it certainly is not the bubonic plague of Europe, you know, in the Middle Ages that, you know, that took out, you know, almost, what is it, what, 25%, you know, wow. of the population. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but it, this has been no joke. Um, 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 many of us have lost loved ones and family members and people who have transitioned during this, this age, this time of, of COVID. But um, as we all know, um, those of us, you know, who strive to you know, to perfect and maintain ourselves through some kind of spiritual tradition, that oftentimes the greatest challenges and, and the greatest heat and the greatest fire, it can do one of two things. It can consume you or it can make you more powerful and stronger. Absolutely. And sometimes the greater the challenge, the more powerful you can become. And so all of us, um, I believe, that are still here, um, we give thanks, you know, and, and praise, you know, um, to um, to the creator by, you know, his and her infinite names, you know, of being, um, that we are still here. As my grandmother used to say, when I used to walk downstairs and open the door and look at the bed and didn't know whether or not she was going to wake up. And I, okay. <laughs> she would wake up and I say, how you feel grandma? And she said, I'm still here. Thank you. <laughs> and I got, I woke up and I got another day, you know, and Amen. so, I, you know, so I hold on to that, you know, that, you know, we have today, we have this day and each day that's coming to make ourselves, you know, uh, the best people that we can be and to live the best life that we can live each and every day. And so with that, yeah, we, we remember the past, we look to the future, you know, but let's strive for perfection each and every day. You know, that's the best we're going to be to having the life that we, that we want to have. So um, and enjoy this time because we're still here. Absolutely. You know, we have, we have survived this. We honor the ancestors that, have, you know, that were taken, um, but they decided it wasn't our time yet. So we're here. You know, we and, have work to uh, do. Yeah, we've got still yeah, got much, much work to do. And that's yeah. how I look about it. Um, yeah. As yeah. we know, here in Harlem and the Harlems of the world, uh, we have elder, we have seniors, we have seniors, seniors, seniors. And we got those up there in the 90s and they're still here. They're that's still right. standing right. strong. Right. 90s and beyond, boo. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, my right. partner, Brother Ruby's aunt was 101. Well, you know, so, um, you know, we're still here and presidents are in their 70s, you know, so this is our time and we have to take care of business and we have to make sure and not make assumptions because there's a lot that our young people don't know. We're making assumptions. And so we've got to make sure that we ask them the questions and know that we know what they think they should know. That's so right. thank you very much. This is thank Harlem you. Network News, right, and right, right. we will be promoting. We will cover, and we'll try to do some live uh, out there uh, at Dance Africa, and that's located in Brooklyn at BAM, which is the Brooklyn Academy of Music, Thirty um, Lafayette <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. So come on out. You can do films. You can eat. You can dance. You can watch the show. Support the vendors. Um, we must support our own. And thank you so much, um, Baba Abdel, uh, Sister Diane. Um, you know, you have, you have been a part of our life from the forces of nature, being able to take dance classes to uh, every, every single thing. Mm -hmm. Apollo, I mean, these are iconic events that everybody looks forward to. Yeah. So, and it's you're been, in the center of it. It's so. been an honor and blessing to serve. Okay. Right. Thank you, thank right. you, thank you. Okay, okay. Right. for whatever, back with never. All, All right. right. Take care. Blessings. Blessings.